Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is Feline Intuition Tarot. Let's see what the messages are for you for September. What's going on with Pisces when it comes to love? Okay, there's anxiety, family, magnetic attraction, and spiritual awakening. Hmm. I feel like if you're dealing with anxiety at the moment, it's going to get easier in September towards the middle. But let me see. Stop looking in the rearview mirror yet. It's something about you. You realizing some type of way to. In the spiritual way to stop letting the past cause you anxiety. I, I see you getting the answers to that. We have date casually. We have side eye, someone acting like they got amnesia, a line of questioning is needed. If they brought it to you, they're talking about you too. And we have spiritual gifts. So something spiritual is gonna happen to you in September. It's gonna help you with anxiety. It's gonna help you move past the past and start to move forward. What's going on with Pisces and the person they're currently thinking about for the month of September? Pisces and the person they're currently thinking about for the month of September. There's someone here trying to make a decision. Someone may reach out to you, but they're trying to make a decision at the moment. You could be still connected to someone, but something unfortunate could have happened. It could be a Gemini for some of you. But I'm seeing... I'm hearing surprise. So this person could... Someone could reach out to you. It could be a surprise to you or a shock to you. But you might, okay, they could reach out or you could run into them, but it may bring you anxiety. It may be a surprise, but brings you anxiety. And some of you may come to the realization that you want to move on from someone. For some, you could be feeling like something, someone isn't as great as you thought they were, or like you may have thought you wanted something, but then it's like, okay, this isn't like, this isn't bringing me the happiness I thought. I see you kind of happily moving on from a situation for some of you. This could have happened already, but it could be with a Leo, a Cancer, or a Gemini. Let me look at your main spread. Okay, Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces for September? Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. You could have some kind of financial windfall come in. I feel like things are going to get better. And I, I just feel like you may be in a little state, but things you're going to find the answer to your questions that solves all your issues here with anxiety. What's coming up for Pisces when it comes to love? keep getting this thing of you realizing you don't really like someone as much as you thought or you don't really want them as much as you thought yeah you're letting go of something four of pentacles you may find that you're not into someone as much as you thought I don't know what they do, what causes this, but I keep getting that feeling and the cards are saying it too. Ace of Swords. Okay, so could be a Leo again, Sagittarius, fellow Pisces, Libra. They have feelings for you and they do want to come forward, but they're seeing you as a page of cups in reverse. So they may feel like you don't really receive their apology or you don't really want to speak to them. Verify the page of cups in reverse, please. 
Yeah, they see you as moving on from them and I see it too, like something is gonna make you no longer want somebody, someone who you once wanted. Like you could be wondering what you saw in this person before. Why temperance in reverse? Sorry about that, there was just some noise. But yeah, there's something going on with this person emotionally. I don't know what it is, but they're very imbalanced emotionally at the moment. What is this? Terrify the sun, please. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Something's going on behind the scenes with this person. This could be what rubs you the wrong way. Yeah, they come towards you, but they're a mess. So you're like, ew. I don't know what it is, but a lot of turbulent energy here with the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Temperance in reverse twice. This is the energy that they're in and then in their emotions, Nine of Swords, the world in reverse. You may find this person to be a hot mess. Why the, why the Empress in reverse? Yeah, it's like they're coming towards you, but you're turned off. Oh my gosh, you could have two people coming towards you. But there's this, there's this energy of someone coming towards you, but you find them unattractive now. Like they're a mess. Why the four of pentacles in reverse? Just so seven, seven. So sevens could be significant. You may have, you're gonna find peace with this sun card. You may find this person to be weird and controlling. So you're like, okay, they're emotionally imbalanced and they're controlling and you have found peace. You found the answers to your anxiety and this person coming towards you, there may be an emotional mess and you may find that to be detrimental to the peace that you've found. I see them coming out the cold, but why the moon? Clarify the moon, please. Yeah, I feel like when everything comes out and you see things clearly with the two of swords in reverse, you're going to have a boundary up with this person. You're not going to want them the way you, maybe you want them now, but <laughs> I don't know. That's going to change. Why the two of pentacles? Yeah, you're seeing them in a very negative light. Like, I don't know if they're juggling or if they're just a mess or they're just all over the place. So maybe it could be you, you sensing them that they're, you sensing that they're juggling with the three of cups in reverse. Why the three of cups is the outcome? Three of wands. So they're gonna try to reconcile quickly knight of swords we have almost all of the knights here except for the knight of wands we've got the king of pentacles in reverse this person's coming in quickly you're gonna hear from them soon the knight of swords and the the eight of wands these are fast energies and two reconciliation cards three of cups and the six of cups they could be coming in not long after you watch this, but you're going to be turned off. Maybe they're having financial issues or emotional issues. And it just kind of makes you feel like I don't want this type of energy around anyways. So let me see. Messages for Pisces for September. Memories, reminiscing, dwelling, bitter, sweet. See, you only have anxiety because you're looking at the past. Boundaries, no, drawing the line enough. Because you, you may be glamorizing the past. So when this person comes towards you and they're a hot mess, you're going to be like, no. Plus, you're going to find the answers to the issues that you may have had with anxiety. So you're just going to be like on a new level. <laughs> we have... Confessions, unveiling, coming clean, and messages. We have second chance, reconciliation, making amends, opportunities. So there's 
there's an opportunity for a second chance, but you may not like it. You may not like them. Could be a Sagittarius, a Libra, Taurus, Aries, Leo. Shadow side, you made me see my flaws. You made me realize my flaws. Daydreaming. I'm always longing for you. I feel like Pisces. You're doing that Pisces thing where this person in your mind is glamorous. And anyone with Pisces in their chart knows about this because I also I have my Pisces in Mercury and I still do this from time to time. It's where you make someone perfect in your mind and when the reality hits you, you lose feelings for that person. <laughs> like <laughs> You lose feelings for that person when you see that they do not match what you've envisioned them to be. Confession. I feel unclear about where I stand. This person, sorry, not confession, confusion. We do have confessions. So this person, they're, they're a mess. You've made them perfect in your mind. We've got conversations. I want to call you and hear your voice. They're a mess. Messages for Pisces. Travel, vacation. Some of you could be traveling maybe for work or this person could travel for work. Triangle, twin flame. It could be that they confess that they were involved with someone else and that turns you off or you kind of sense that. There's something with travel. But there's definitely something with juggling for some of you. So you could find that this person kind of maybe has someone else or tries to say that, well, say that they do and think it's normal for them to have someone else and you're like, what the hell? It's something about this person that's going to really make you see things clearly. What's the advice for Pisces? You got maybe. Trust your intuition. Raise your voice and fulfilling outcomes. So I feel like things are gonna work out for you. You may find yourself dating casually soon, but you may find it to be a relief that this person um is not what you thought they were because you may have found you may have felt yourself like you may you may have felt like they gave you anxiety and you you may find that you are right to be anxious because they do have some something weird going on or something weird about their energy and it's like your body is telling you that and once you see the truth you can kind of move forward why did the side eye card come out? Yeah, there's gonna be some, this person could be very, I don't know if they got an Aquarius in their chart, but they could be that type who just thinks it's normal to like have a third party or just confess or that you would just accept it. Yeah, there's something that they think that you would accept, but you're not going to accept it or their behavior. So you're just going to find that this person was just not worth your time. It's not going to break your heart. It's going to push you forward and make you quite relieved is what I'm seeing. So could be a Libra, could definitely be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It does give air sign energy. Um... Pisces with the moon that came out. We got Aries, Leo, strong Sagittarius energy. Yeah, strong Sagittarius, Leo, and air signs. So, this is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.